Hello again, and welcome back. It's got a wonderful world. Fat ugly one's back with another one of his bullshit beer reviews. Fat man sits in a shed talking about a beer. He's currently drinking. Nothing on the table. Scott, what are you on about? You haven't got a beer. I oh, know, I'm getting that. Now, recently, um, a lovely guy by the name of Eugene from the Best of British Beer Company online. BetterBritishBeer.co.uk. There's a link in the description below. If you're if you're interested and um, love good stuff on there. There's some Christmas beers. There's um, Advent calendar. I don't know if they're still available. Uh, there's um, there's lagers. There's a bit of all sorts. They work with a lot of independent breweries within the country and put together. There's a beer club. You can subscribe to a bit like beer 52 just a bit better um i had a couple of people comment saying that they've used this company they've been very impressed with it i get no money for this uh, my name was put to uh, the best of british beer company by my um fabulous friend the blue van man um and i'm just a beneficiary of their ultimate craft beer box um i've done the the lock loman beer. i'm not going to do all of these beers there are a few that I've either already done or are widely available anyway. Um, I hope you're going to forgive me doing these. I know I, don't, I, don't, I do a lot of stuff that you can get hold of. I'm well aware that there are channels out there that do a lot of stuff that you can't get hold of. I'm not like that, um, but I am going to have a take a look at some of these beers because some of them really do interest me. But yeah, the, the best of British beer, I've got my bits and pieces here, set up in 2011 by Will and Jill Sherwin. Um, they had one aim in mind they just wanted uh, to wave the flag for the country's finest independent breweries uh, and award-winning beer brands they work with people like north um, northern monk they've got marble they've got lock lomond they've got salopian um, there's some fabulous really really good breweries uh, that they work with so there's a link in the description if you're interested don't feel that you have to um, this isn't a they haven't paid me any money they've just sent me some beer to help promote their business. So with that in mind, this is the box they sent me. I'm just going to dip my hand in, see what I get. And we're going for a big one. Hello. That's okay. Um, I haven't brought my glasses out. Say brand new glasses, I keep forgetting to bring them. Uh, this one is from Marble Beers, up in Manchester. And it's a can of their Atlas. Pale Ale. The Port Colours Tap House has added Lily Cider. Gingerbread Cider. That sounds interesting. Now this one's 4%. Marble. Canned beer produced to celestial standards. Uh, marble up in Manchester. Quenching and refreshing. This, uh, the Easy Pale has citrus and fruit notes. Held on the shoulder of an easy drinking pale base. Uh, the ingredients are malted barley, malted wheat, malted oats, hops and yeast. So it doesn't seem like there's any um, adjuncts in there, which I wouldn't expect there to be being a pale ale. What, obviously, I'll just dunk my hand in there. 500ml can. Actually, really like the artwork as well. Really, really nice. Um, I have had a couple of marble beers. I don't think I've ever done anything on the channel. Unless someone's gonna, oh, there might have been a collab, 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 collaboration. Come in. So let's have a look. You okay? That's a very good question. I can't see him. I thought he'd gone back in. Has he gone through? Um, our dog is missing. <laughs> dog is missing. Uh, we can't go far. In the glass, very pale. Very pale, actually. It's a waste. Um, very, very pale. Uh, slightly hazy, but not a lot going on. There's a bit of carbonation actually going on. I can see that now picking up in the ring light. Um, very, very like lemony, but very cordial looking in the glass. Head snaffed off. Let's see what this is like. Mm. 
Hmm. Not the greatest aroma, <laughs> to be completely honest. It's very sort of bitter lemon. Pithy lemon, bit of orange. And that's about it. It's very, very subdued, um, I would call that. Sometimes when you get some of these beers where the aroma doesn't come through a huge amount, the actual taste can... I mean, at the end of the day, it matters what it tastes like. It doesn't matter if it's fucking shit smelling, does it? So, see what it's like. Marbles Atlas. Easy <clears throat> pale. 4%. Actually, the the, the flavour is okay. It is very citrus forward, so a bit of lemon, some some grapefruit in there, but only a touch. Um, there's some orange sitting on a nice sort of um, sort of sweet malt, and that's about it. There's not there's not it's not a huge amount going on in it. For me, it's all about that that citrus, citrusy lem um, lemon, um, grapefruit. Is there anything going on at the bottom of the can? Um, a sweet um, biscuity malt, but it, it's not. I mean, it's four percent. I'm not expecting it to be a world beater at four percent. It is drinkable. It's it's quite refreshing. There's low bitterness. Being a pale ale, that's what I would expect. It's a bit um, very thin. It is thin, very cordial like. Um, it's not the best. It isn't the best beer I've ever had. I'm, I'm, the one thing that you're going to get, I'm not going to say, oh, these are fucking brilliant because they've been sent to me. I'm going to be honest about them. Um, it's not the best beer I've ever had. It's, it is drinkable. It's very cordial, um, quite watery. Um, 4%, I half expect that, but you can get some very decent beers at 4%. That isn't one of them. It's okay. Um, I'm going to give it a thumbs in the middle, I think. it's Flavours are, are, are there. The body lets it down ever so slightly. It's not the worst beer I've ever had, but it's by no means the best either. Um, Atlas Easy Pale from Marble Brewing Company. Uh, Marble Beer, sorry. Marblebeers.com bit of a letdown on that one, I'm afraid. Um, can't win them all. They're not all going to be fantastic. <laughs> Thoroughly enjoyed the Loch Lomond one. That one is way below that level. <clears throat> but there's some more to come that look better. So, yeah, get yourselves over to... Um, there's a link in the description. Uh, Best of British Beer. Um, they've got something for everybody. So if it's something that interests you, I don't say I don't make any money on it. So... Um, just helping to promote um, a family business. So that gives a thumbs in the middle for me. It's it's okay, it's drinkable. It's not terrible. Dogs are going mad. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't give it a thumbs down, there's a subscribe button somewhere. May want to see you soon. Have a good evening.